results. If you don't have results, you don't create habits. If you don't have processes, you don't have confidence. So it really starts all the way back at the process side. In my mind's eye, what, how would I do this? My, my standard for the, the, the minimum between first visit and actual listing conversation was 24 hours. I gotta have 24 hours. Now, the fear factor for most people is, well, what if somebody slips in there and lists it before them? They won't, because you've already set the second appointment the first time you talked, and people won't cancel the second appointment. <clears throat> Even if the guy gets in there in the middle, like I'm in there at one, I do my first step, another guy comes in in three and tries to one step it, they're gonna be like, no, I've got an appointment with Wayne tomorrow night at five, I gotta at least give him that. I've tried to get people to cancel their other appointments to go ahead and list with me. I've told them I'll call the agent and cancel for them. <laughs> they, historically, they won't cancel it. That's why you set two on the front end. Yeah. Now you've got a whole day to do your homework, right? To do your homework, to preview the competition, to really run your numbers at a very high level so that you can explain them, right? Mm -hmm. To figure out, sometimes when you run a CMA and you realize that the CMA is saying one thing, um, but those houses brought more money because maybe they were a nicer subdivision than where this one is, although it has the same physical features, and you plan out how you're going to present that little factoid without ticking them off, because mm -hmm. you can't look at them and go, well, that's a nicer subdivision. Because that sends the message, oh, realtor doesn't like my subdivision, doesn't like my house. Well, I would never hire them. They're not excited about selling my property, right? So then there's the questions. There's the 13 <coughs> questions. Have you ever sold this house before, right? And I gave you those, I gave you those questions last time. Have, I, have you ever sold the house before? Tell me about all your experiences in selling property. Were they good or were they bad? Tell me what happened. What did you enjoy? What did you dislike? What did you expect to have happen that, that didn't happen? What happened that you didn't expect to have happen? Um, and then if they haven't ever done it before, do you have any friends that have done it? Do you have any family members that have done it? I mean, do you have, are you just, or are you just a blank slate on this whole selling of a house? You don't have a clue. That's not true, right? Do you think selling a house is easy or hard? The reason this question is so cool is if you're going to have a commission objection, that's when it'll come up. Because some sellers will look at you and go, well, I think it's pretty easy for you. I've had, that, I've had them say that to me. And you know you're going to have a commission conversation. They see no value in a realtor. Mm -hmm. Don't make a comment about it. This is not the time for you to comment on anything they say. This is, a, this is a time for you to inquire at a deeper and deeper level on where they are mentally. Always playing red light, green light in your mind, right? It's like green light, green light, ooh, yellow light, ooh, yellow, red, red, mm -hmm. red. You know what? I think we're done. You just, I, I can't do this. Do um, you think it takes a long time or shouldn't take very long to sell a house? Now, you can, in a two-step process, you can ask that question in the second meeting. You've already run your CMA. You already know the average market time for a house like theirs. Right? You want them to now say, well, how long do you think it'll take? In today's market, how long do you think this ought to take? Well, I think it, I, I, I'm hoping to be out of here in 30 days. So you think we ought to be able to sell your house in 30 days? Well, I think so. I got a great house. Okay. And you know full well, nobody sold their house in less than 120 days. It's already written on your CMA. You just don't bring it up yet. It's not time. We're not talking money. We're not talking any of the transaction. We're talking relationship. You think there's a little negotiation or a lot of negotiation that goes on? Oh, I know I got to build room in to come down from. I know I got to build some cushion in. You know, I know people are going to want to negotiate. Well, how much negotiation do you think goes on? Oh, I don't know. I'm not coming down much though. You know, I'm not in a hurry. I don't have to sell. Okay. I've already got my CMA done. <laughs> right? And all they're, all you're doing in this process is they're shaping your presentation for you and they don't realize it. They're telling you their hot buttons. They're telling you what's going on in the deep, dark reaches of their mind that if you one-step this, this stuff will never come out. 
It'll be, let's take a quick look at your house. All right, let's sit down. Let me show you the process I use to sell houses. Here's what everything is sold. This is what it's worth. Here's what I do. Let's list. And that'll work sometimes, right? But it's, in, in some cases, it's setting you up for a little bit of angst 60 to 90 days into this deal. And I'm just saying that life's too short. We shouldn't live in that world. Okay, you ever peel an onion? you got to go three deep with everything. Write, write the answers down as they're telling you. You can't take too many <clears throat> notes. You can't slow this thing down too much. Okay? If, if you, the goal is to slow down the conversation. Thomas Jefferson said, nothing gives one man more advantage over the other than to remain cool and unruffled in all circumstances. If you will grasp the concept of taking notes, become a note taker in these presentations, both with buyers and with sellers, just the fact that you take notes slows down the conversation. And as long as the conversation stays slow, you can't fight about anything. Because a conver all the fight is is a sped up conversation. Conversations that speed up become disagreements. Disagreements that speed up become arguments. Arguments that speed up become fights, and fights that speed up become fistfights. If you've ever been in a bar where a fistfight broke out, you can, and seriously, you can, if, if you probably have never done that, but I've been in a couple of those, you can almost feel the energy of this conversation speeding up, and it's getting louder and faster and louder and faster and louder and faster and louder and faster, and somebody throws a punch, and here we go. And if one person just would have taken notes, right, and kept it slow. Well, you can't fight with somebody that's, that's being slow. The other part of it is, the cool part that what you learn is, as you're writing it down, people hate silence. Mm -hmm. And they feel the need to fill it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they will unveil more about their first comment than they even realize they're going mm -hmm. to. Because they it, start explaining it. They, yeah, it's like, well, I think 30 days. Well, I don't know. Is that right? Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Anything else you want to tell me about how long it ought to take? And they'll just start playing their hand out. It's weird. I mean, I get it. I'm, weird. I'm a weird guy. That's why I like this. Okay. And then you got to tell them, hey, when we get done today, one of three things is going to happen. You're going to list with me. That's awesome. You don't choose me. You choose somebody else. That's not so great. You know what? We may uncover something that you have here that I know I can't do. And if that's the case, I'll tell you today. What I just said was, if I find out you're a jerk, I'm walking. If I find out that you're unreasonable on price, I'm walking. If I find out that you think that every time you call me, I should answer my phone to stop what I'm doing, I am walking. But it's just said in a very polite way. Life's all about delivery. Why is it so important? Because it politely tells you you're willing to walk. Why would you be unable to take my listing? We may have a need or expectation that I know I can't meet. I'll tell you today. Golly, I don't want, you to, I don't want to get 90 days into this deal and, and have you not like me. What's the most important thing that has to happen this time in the sale of this house for you to say this was an awesome transaction? What's the most important fact to 